During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning Outcomes By the end of this lesson, you should be able to State the object of a drainage system List the four water types encountered in a drainage system and give an example of each one State the function of a water trap and use a sketch to illustrate your answer Describe what the difference is between a combined system and a separate system And state which system is the preferred and why The object of a drainage system is to convey foul, waste or surface water to the sewer or other place of disposal without danger to health. Pipe work must be air and water tight in order that both solid and liquid matter are removed from the building without foul odours escaping. The local authority has the power to order the removal or repair of any drain which is not up to standard. Water types. There are four water types. The first one is surface water. This is the runoff of natural water from the ground surface, including paved areas, roofs, and unpaved land. So we can see an example in the diagram here. We have a surface water runoff from the roof of the building here. It's collected in a gutter and sent into the downpipe. 2. Subsoil water. This is water occurring naturally below the ground surface and the depth varies with the season. And so this is the water table. So obviously during the winter this will be much higher than during the summer. 3. Waste water. This is the discharge from wash hand basins, baths and sinks etc. That is water not classed as surface water but uh, also not contaminated with soil water from the toilet. So we can see an example in the diagram there. We have a pipe coming out of the kitchen there, coming out from the kitchen sink. We have another one there coming from the sink in the bathroom. This is the wastewater. Four is soil water. This is the discharge from the soil appliances such as toilets and urinals. So we can see an example there in the diagram of a pipe coming from the toilet going into the discharge stack. Traps and water seals. All points of discharge into a drainage system should be fitted with a water seal or a trap. This is to prevent foul air from the system entering the building. A gully trap. This is where surface water enters the drainage system. So a gully trap is a standard shore. A wash hand basin trap. This is where waste water enters the drainage system. A toilet bowl trap. This is where the soil water enters the drainage system. Two types of drainage systems. One is the combined system and two is the separate system. The combined system. In this system all surface water, waste water and soil water are sent into the drainage system together. The second one is the separate system. In this system, two completely separate sets of pipes lead to two different sewers, one conveying soil and wastewater, and the other taking surface water to be dealt with separately. This is the most common used. Local authorities prefer the separate system, as this is the most eco-friendly and does not overload the treatment plants in times of flooding. The separate system is the only system used nowadays. You will only see an, uh, an example of a combined system in a very old building. Conclusion The object of a drainage system is to convey foul water to the sewer without danger to health. The four water types are surface water, subsoil water, waste water and soil water. A water trap is used to prevent foul air from the system entering the building. Combined systems, all water is sent into the drainage system together 
separate system, surface water is dealt with separately. Separate systems are the preferred one.